Now, if you're somebody who checks your social media all the time, there's every chance you'll have seen a tweet this week from our next guest, an army veteran whose name is Rob Long. Now, Rob lost his sight during a tour of Afghanistan in 2010. This week, he's brought attention worldwide to a little-known feature that can describe pictures to visually impaired Twitter users. So, he tweeted, this is it, um, explaining how to adjust your settings to include audio descriptions of images. And it's been shared more than 100,000 times since he posted this earlier this week. I mean, it's, it's simple. A lot of people don't realise that this is capable on their on their phones or their devices, but uh, this is how the feature works for people like Rob who are blind. Uh, this is a post that he uploaded on New Year's Eve with a picture describing what you can see. Rob Long, if you have bought fireworks to celebrate tonight's fair of thought for all the dogs, one night ferrets and no night veterans, if you could use them all up tonight in a short burst would be ideal. We can get a bit jumpy. Thanks and have a happy New Year shooting star. Explosion. Large German Shepherd dog laying on the bed, looking at the camera with a one-eyed white ferret laying in between his front paws also looking at the camera. Well, if it's described like that, I mean, goodness. Let's talk to Rob Long um, now, who's in our London studio. That was quite funny, that description of that picture, Rob. But I suppose it's so important that these things are accurate. Yeah, um, good morning. Uh, yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. I mean, the response this tweet has had and the support, you know, I've had across the world with this is absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, it's it's been a brilliant response from, from everyone. I suppose um, many people would think that if your, your sight is impaired, why on earth would you be using Twitter in terms of, you know, swiping seeing the pictures it, it seems quite a visual thing but also I suppose Twitter is a great source of information well uh, Twitter's perfect obviously uh, for for blind and disabled people because uh, primarily it's a you know, conversational platform that's text-based and a lot of screen readers obviously focus on on reading out the text you know before this it was it was primarily about reading out the text and being able to communicate online with other people but with this new, obviously, added feature and the attention this feature is getting, it's a missing piece of the puzzle where now we can contribute fully to people's posts online and social media. And especially in, you know, this day and age, social media, it is uh, using pictures and art and everything to convey your messages is, is a really useful tool. And, you know, now we're being brought into the fold, blind people are being brought into the fold to be able to contribute to these posts. Mm. And what do you what do you think the reaction has been in terms of you've seen like a, an overwhelming reaction in response to your tweet? But in terms of other people who have, are visually impaired, what have they said to you? Um, it's been amazing. I mean, people have have really got on board with this, and uh, other visually impaired people, you know, didn't didn't some of some of them didn't know about this. I mean, I only found out about it last month, but they've. They've been saying thank you for bringing attention to this, but like uh, the gratitude should be to go should go to all those people who retweeted it and supported it, the people who are you know uh, allowing us to to be involved and not ex you know they were accidentally excluding us before and not just because they didn't know this existed and you know I'm really grateful to all the sighted people out there who who have you know taken the effort to make the the simple changes to to bring us into this. It's really interesting the language you're using, Rob, you know, being yeah. brought back into the fold, accepting yeah. us, allowing us to, to use these systems and, the, and these facilities. You lost your sight in Afghanistan in yeah. 2010. And I, I wonder if you just tell us what happened, but also then how excluded you felt from those whose sight was fine after the accident. Um, well... <laughs> You know, it, obviously, it changed my world completely. Um, I didn't know about assistive technology or, or any of any of this stuff. I was on patrol in Afghanistan on July the 8th, 2010, when I was hit by an IED, which resulted in me losing my left eye uh, on the battlefield straight away. And then my right eye, when I got back to the UK, had to be removed. So now the, the eyes you see, are, I've got two uh, prosthetic eyes in, and um, it's, it's basically pitch black for me, so the visual world you know, no longer exists for me. The portraits I, I, I see are in my mind. Uh, 
during my rehabilitation process, a uh, blind veterans UK came up to me and, you know, handed me an iPhone. And I, I, this was 2010 when smartphones were, were sort of, you know, still quite new and everything like that. And I was like, how am I going to use a touchscreen phone? They trained me to use it and it's, it's so intuitive. The swipes and everything, like, I can just do myself. The voice is clear and, and concise and it's not something you have to download or get an extra like um, app to, to get it on it. All Apple products come with it automatically on, which is absolutely fantastic for us because it, you know, it stops the lag, it stops any extra memory getting taken up. And it also, I have the same kit as everyone else. It's, it's normal I don't have like a specialist blind phone or a specialist disabled phone that makes me stand out or anything like that. It's discreet, it's subtle and it, yeah. It's and I, fantastic. I understand, of course, other um, smartphones offer this or you can use apps to download this. I suppose there's yeah. also an onus on the social media sites to make sure that these facilities are able to be accessed as well. I mean, you, you've spoken about Twitter, that's what we've been talking about today, yeah. but there are social media sites that people want to use and apps, of course. Well, that was one of the great things um, that Fred uh, brought up because everyone was able to contribute. So. Uh, a lot of uh, visually impaired and people with other disabilities uh, were, were commenting on the thread and, and raising this up and flagging it with uh, social media uh, networks and, and, and tagging them in it. So, and the response from other social media platforms was, was absolutely fantastic. They were on board and a lot of focus and attention has been brought to this now, which is, which is absolutely great. And people are contributing who are sighted, people are contributing who are, um, who are blind and have other disabilities and for because there's so much attention on it. Obviously the companies, you know, want these people and want to, to bring this audience in, want to, you know, include the disabled people and it's, yeah, it's really helped. Well, I, you've helped just by being on breakfast with us now, just letting us all know about uh, this facility. Wish you all yeah. the best, Rob. Thanks so okay. much for talking to us. Thank you. Take care. I've enabled my phone. Have Dead you? simple, you dead simple. Yeah, yeah, so simple and uh, makes such a difference.